Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Dragon Ball Legends. Both juggernauts of the gacha world. But which one is truly better? Let's discuss. I play both of these games, more than the other depending on what's going on in the games. I started playing Dokkan back on day one, but took a break because when this game first started, it was... Fun isn't exactly the word I'd use to describe it. Day one for Legends as well, and that on day one was fun, to start. But let's do a deeper dive into each game and see which one really is better, starting with... This one comes down to personal preference, frankly they all do. But when playing a mobile game, I prefer the sprites of Dokkan over the fully rendered models in Legends. To this day, Goku's hair still looks a little off in Legends. Once Dokkan hit its stride and the in-game animations were true to anime, sometimes better, it struck a lovely balance that just feels nice to be holding in your hands. Where Legends takes it is the card art itself because those cards are glorious. Dokkan does have amazing art most of the time, but it's also very pixelated. Legends, the art is full HD and is tailor-made for phone wallpapers, which I do on the regular. In fact, right now, mine is a Legends art. Going into menu stylings, it's not even close. Dokkan is actually organized. Legends has far too many menus, and they progressively made it worse over time. The download all option is buried. And for the life of me, I cannot figure out why they don't just put the custom deck sleeves in customization. Dokkan by far, to me, takes presentation. Early on, this was a bit closer, but over time again, Legends has kind of ruined the collector properties by adding a little too much fluff. Doubling the stars was stupid. The rates on Legends are, well, trash. Dokkan has gotten much better over the years, and while you can argue when Dokkan first started, their rates were just as trash as Legends, Legends had a head start, so they knew from Dokkan's mistakes to make their rates, you know, a little better. They didn't do it. One thing Legends does better is its banners. They limit, most of the time, the pool of characters you can pull. So that way you don't pull a bunch of useless old units you don't want or need. The fact Dokkan hasn't removed more of its old stuff to this day is kind of surprising. Easy way to fix this, Dokkan, all you need to do, take out a bunch of the old fluff units, create a secondary little banner, a permanent one like the friend summons, call it the classic summons, legendary summons, not legendary, that's LR stuff. Classic summons, where you can go here and pull the old SSRs, so people who are new to the game or want to get them for collector's reasons can go here to pinpoint those old units. So that way, if you want another tech Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, you just go here and try your best to get it, instead of like now pulling him instead of your tech Gohan. One place Legend falls behind though, is its banners. There are far too many filler banners in Legends. They drop one almost weekly. They are much more Walt friendly by having superior sales and just superior prices overall. But they lose that advantage when you have to summon for something new every single week. And half the time the new units are ones you just don't care about. The Cell and Trunks banner is the perfect example of this. They've gotten better for the most part over time. Like now, the new banner, the Trio de Danger. A lot of people don't really care about them even though they are great but they were smart and totally stacked that banner with amazing units. Dokkan, on the other hand, while almost always releasing no new great units or reworks of old units that have been around for a while, they release banners far less. The two games are pretty much on opposite ends of the spectrum when it comes to how they handle banners. But in the end, I feel collecting in Dokkan just feels better. Pulling an LR still feels better than pulling an LF. Both have their merits, but in the end, Dokkan takes it. Now add a skip summon button, damn it! This is the first one where it really isn't close at all. Legends actually feels like a real game where you control the things you spent money to get. 
Dokkan in the end is a glorified bubble popper. It's fun comes though is you know tackling the challenges you get, placing your units in the right spot, trying to anticipate where the enemy is going to attack. In the hard events, Super Battle Road, Dragon Ball History, on the normal events, you one-shot everything, and that kind of spoils the fun. One-shot everything, and the enemies can barely tickle your nutsack. Legends has PvP. Enough said. The one thing that does drive me crazy, though, is when Legends tries to be difficult. They do the tried and ever-so-annoying method of giving the CPU perfect counters. That isn't difficult. It's BS. Unless you know the exploits, there's nothing you can do about it. And if you have to use exploits to beat something, it's not good. Legends also takes this on the difficulty rankings. Dokkan uses, you know, traditional standard ones, super, super hard. Legends has one called Scream. <laughs> That's hilarious. So yes, Legends takes this round hands down. So in the end, it really boils down into what type of game you like to play. To be the calculating genius and pack hunting card collector, or the guy who just wants to hit something really, really hard. You can't go wrong with either game. I will continue to play both games, but if you force me to play just one, Dokkan takes it. All day. Take care.